what up what up what up this is star with stars and first wisdom how you doing bull gang taurians let's get down to love um if you're new to my channel welcome if you are returning mwah. thank you for your likes shares support subscribes um if you would like to donate that's in the descriptions please share like subscribe if this resonates um that's how this can resonate or you know i can resonate with more people out there the more i get of those so yeah <laughs> um again this is for taurus sun moon rising and venus signs i will be going into you and your love interest for this weekend into next so let's get started what is your guidance for this weekend into next regarding love Taurus magnificence it says you are amazing Taurian magnificent and unique but most importantly you are enough so oh and I seen one 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 all right Taurian so be careful with your thoughts because they are manifesting um you are a magnificent manifester um and I feel like you need to know how unique and how magnificent and amazing you are. So say it with me, Torians. You will. OK, let's say it like this. I am enough. All right. I am enough. So know that, Torians. All right. So let's go. Let's get some more clarity about that. What else does Taurus need to know? make plans and focus so whatever you are dreaming about whatever you want to come into fruition um whatever you are trying to maybe you feel like you're not enough for a specific relationship or a venture or some type of um, desire you have for example you may want to be a rock star but you feel like that's impossible you know guess what taurians you are enough to make whatever dreams you um desire come into fruition but you are going to be required to make plans and focus, okay? So make plans and focus. You are enough. And you have what it takes, is what I'm hearing. All right, let's get a little bit more before we proceed. Okay. What does Taurus need to know this weekend? Love. What does Taurus need to know? this weekend in love all right help me respect the person that I am becoming so Taurus um, you may have been have made a lot of significant changes here in the recent past um, and it could even be regarding love it could be your finances have changed everything has changed you could have gotten out of a relationship which is making you feel like you aren't enough for a new one um, you may ha not have enough finances or your finances may not be in order and, um, you may feel like that is affecting your identity or, you know, cause Torians and money, you know what I'm saying? Y'all hard workers. And if you don't see the fruits of your labor, it kind of, you know, it could bug you or bother you, but know that you're enough, know that your plans, um, will come, you know, things will come into fruition, um, as long as you continue to make plans and focus on your desires and dreams um, and positive thinking. But yeah, respect the person that you are becoming because things are shedded or being shedded away from you, not because you are lacking anything or you're you're not worthy or you're not enough for something. The thing is, you need to shed old skin in order for you to move forward in a more positive direction um, to align with your higher self. So, yeah. Help me to respect the person I'm becoming. Person, it's like, you know, the whole butterfly thing. You may be in the cocooning stages. It may hurt like hell. You may be going through a Saturn return or something. You may be going through an ascension or an awakening. And it may, um, you may have just, like I said, gotten out of a breakup, a long-term relationship, um, a career field that you thought was the one or whatever. But you can always start anew. You know what I'm saying? Make plans and focus on the new that you would like to create in your life. Or if you had previous, you know, bad relationships or whatever, you may be someone who never planned or focused on relationships or planned and focused while in a relationship. And that may be something that you need to um, consider while getting, you know, while man uh, manifesting a new partner. 
if that is what you are desiring at this time. But whatever it is, you need to plan and focus. Okay? So let's go into the recent past regarding love. What did Torian's love life look like in the recent past here? And this could be sun, moon, and rising signs. What has the love life of the Torians been? King of Pentacles. Definitely looks like you've been working on your stability. Um, Knight of Wands. So you may be dealing with a significant Leo Aries Sag. Doesn't have to be though. Could be dealing with another uh, Taurus Capricorn or Virgo. Again, doesn't have to be. I feel like this could be you. You are focused on your financial stability. You are focused on work. You may have been overworking as well. Um, you were passionate about someone, I feel like, um, and I feel like you may have been a, a bit of a player, okay? And, but I feel like in the recent past, you dropped your player tendencies, because I've seen the devil in reverse. Um, and I feel like you may have had some narcissistic tendencies, or a person you've been dealing with. Um, I saw the emperor in reverse as well. But yeah, I feel like, Torians, you may be single, um, or recently single. You may have been uh, having a hard time sleeping possibly due to an ex or a situation that um probably didn't work out in the past yeah it could be a libra gemini aquarius that you wanted to probably rush into um but yeah you may have not been passionate about this person or showing ex expressing passion and success towards this person in this relationship um it looks like you were probably possibly in and out of this situation with this person <clears throat> And like I said, you may have been being a player, you know what I'm saying? Not trying to offer commitment or stability, okay? And it was like this was a negative investment for <clears throat> you or this person that you were dealing with. Let's see. Love in the recent past. It looks like you could have had a stable, happy, um, loving home situation that offered sunlight and joy and you know happy children and all that you could also have a leo child but it doesn't have to be you could also have a son but again it doesn't have to be but yeah i feel like you could have had a stable happy loving situation that was complete emotional fulfillment but you didn't have an offer you weren't offering someone something or someone wasn't offering you something or someone was rejecting a divine offer in this situation <clears throat> could have been you could have been because you were in and out okay or somebody was in and out with you so let's get some clarity. Why is the King of Pentacles here in the recent past? All right. Yep. You may have been suffering in silence, Taurus. Okay. You may have been getting your coins together, but you may have been suffering in silence. And it could have been about a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yep. The ending of a relationship with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You probably knew you needed to separate from this person, but you didn't want to. Um, let's see. Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yep, you may have been deception in the past. In and out with somebody. Sneaking in for some passion and then running right back out. Okay, so you may have been displaying deceptive... Um, qualities yep because uh, you may have been being deceptive to a karmic partner or that could have been a karmic situation that you have been trapped in a karmic cycle where you suffer in silence in a relationship and probably become deceptive and start being a player or whatnot um, it, which results in the end of the relationship so that could be a karmic cycle that you're in where you're left burdened okay yeah, you needed to be single, happy with your own coins and doing your own thing instead of feeling discontent and stuck in a relationship. Yeah, because you may be malicious, vindictive, or childish, or that could be the person you're dealing with back and forth. You know, you guys may be traveling back and forth to each other. You feel like this is a failed investment with this person. And it may have resulted in a block. You may have had to block somebody because it became burdensome. So you may have had a karmic partner in the past that have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That um, you know there was deception, and but the overall the the connect <clears throat> the connection was karmic. So um, that's why it was in and out. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Taurus? Could have been in and out with the family as well you know, with your family. Um, yeah, so you may have had a happy family situation, but you may have been feeling dis-ease about um, 
an investment, something you invested your time into, or you may have um, been feeling sick or someone was sick in your family. <clears throat> and you did receive good news, so you probably healed from this situation or whoever. You may have had a sick family member or something like that. You got good news about it. Um, and, but I feel like it was time to walk away from a situation where all you guys did was fight with each other. So you may have healed from a situation with a family or a family. Um, or like I said, you were you were sick and going through something physically and you were healed from that. Um, you got good news about that. It was an emotional fulfillment. But you did still have to walk away from a situation. Could have been an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Someone who you felt was stable um, was a smart ass. Like somebody was running their mouth or something like that you know or you could have been like that to someone all right so why is the please clarify this ace of pentacles all right yep so you probably couldn't can't offer somebody something because they're because there's a separation now so you and someone may have separated because of someone's player ways or manipulation yep but you and this person will be healed in this situation but it does there is some loss and regret here. Somebody feels bad about having two different lovers and going on a journey and having to walk away, possibly walking away from both. Yep, to stabilize their income. Yep, but somebody, a possible water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you're in love with. Someone has been uh, showing you love, giving you love, but you have no offer for this person. So you may have been being disturbed. Yeah, and you want to complete your, um, they may be completely financially stable or you are working towards that for yourself. Yeah, but there is a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that um, is more balanced in this situation. Someone who may be envious, it could be an ex. Yeah, you may have needed to be single from this person. So I feel like you may have been a player in the past and have had to walk away from multiple partners or whatever. Um, it could have even made you physically sick. Uh, yeah, you need to think positive in this situation. You were trying to think positive, I feel like. But no one, you know, no one's winning if you're being deceptive to everybody that you're dealing with, okay? Or someone could be doing this to you. And you just ended, you know, ended up suffering in silence towards the ending of a relationship. Or just suffering in silence because you think a relationship is going to end here, okay? So, let's get into the situation a little further, okay? All right, so what was the situation between Taurus and their partner? Let's get a little further detail. What was the situation going on between Taurus and their partner? Five of Wands, competition. All right, so you may have been juggling partners, been dealing with multiple people. Um, got the King of Swords here, and then you may have emotionally withdrawn, you know, because of this competition. You may, again, you may be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that was causing conflict. Um, you may have had, or you may have air in your chart, but I feel like people may have been fighting for your attention, causing conflict, fighting over you, or this could be the person you're interested in or dealing with. What is the, okay, so matter of fact, let's get some clarity. So the situation is, was competition here. Clarify the Five of Wands. Clarify the Five of Wands. All right, so this situation, uh, this competition could have made you sad. You were trying to be mentally stable in this situation. Um, you were trying to keep your, you know, keep your mind or your head screwed on tight or whatever, but this was, uh, there was a lot of devil energy here. And there was a lot of conflict, okay? But this was all meant to happen to change your circumstances. Yep, it's a spiritual battle. This is a spiritual battle. Um, it was all meant to help you move across water. So you may have had to make a move and let go of fear. And in order for this to happen, we have 555 five, five here. Significant change is on the horizon. So you had to go through this uh, spiritual battle, this sadness, this competition with uh, you know people fighting over you and fighting for you or fighting against you in order for you to make that move, make that change that you needed to make, let go of the fear you needed to let go of in order to move forward. All right. So let's go into what. So the situation was competition. What is the actual 
problem. Hold on. Let me use these. What is the actual problem? All right, so the problem is the death card. You may have uh, been dealing with a Scorpio or you had to end things. You had to end a relationship, end a cycle. You could have had to end a cycle with people competing against you or competing for you. There was no justice in this situation with possibly a um, past relationship or with a Libra. There was no justice for this Libra um, or you. So it resulted in an ending which is the problem because someone probably did not want to you guys probably didn't want to end things let's clarify the death card why is this ending here yep somebody was waiting for someone to take action so you may not have taken action and instead a situation ended um that was the result because somebody waited to take action somebody is too tense in this situation and needs to relax yep you're a player so somebody could have definitely been a player in this situation and that's why they were waiting to take action towards who they wanted yep they were afraid to walk away from the past all right but yeah it may be because they had a stable foundation somewhere else with someone else but they wanted to you know they knew you guys may have known somebody else was meant for you or whatnot but yes you guys ended up making a positive move yeah i feel like you guys were waiting you had to end a situation you that was the problem you weren't ending something that's what I feel like for some of you guys weren't ending something and um, you were just you had your person waiting for a long time um, because you had a stable foundation elsewhere. But you did end up making that positive move forward or you will be making that positive move forward because, you know, juggling partners is dangerous. You already know it. Yep. And but it was an internal fight because you probably didn't want to commit. Maybe because you don't like planning and focusing and for things to be structured, you know. But again, this could be the per or maybe you felt like you weren't enough. Okay. All right. So let's see what action needs to be taken, Taurus, for this situation in love for the next seven days. What action needs to be taken? Ace of Wands. The divine is uh, pushing you to take action. OK, so maybe you were waiting for a long time. Um, and you were ending a situation and that may have caused a situation that you wanted to hold on to to end. So, or, you know, take out resonates or you did end a situation with someone to move forward. You ended the competition. Um, yeah, you may have had to end things with the cancer, uh, cancer, maybe a Pis Pisces, maybe. <laughs> okay. Sorry. A Taurus, a Leo, Aquarius, a Scorpio, um, or a yeah Leo is definitely here um, but yeah so you may have to take um, divinely guided action towards your desires your passion what you are truly passionate about and in a cycle with everyone else manifest because you have exactly what it takes for you to manifest exactly what you want out of this situation so let's clarify the ace of wands for the action that Taurus needs to take yes you are dealing with a spiritual battle Taurus all right and it could be regarding a leo that's what it says right here if you can see so you may be going through a spiritual battle with a leo but you are being guided to take divinely guided action let's see what you're supposed to do action to do what action to build a stable foundation this time instead of all this chaos and all this competition and all this juggling and all this player tendencies and shit and it always ends up in heartbreak and um an ending and fighting you know so you're being asked to restart in life start over with your true passions which you truly desire because you are going through a spiritual battle right now um but it's so that you know there may be lower forces trying to get you not to uh, stabilize this foundation and to continue to, you know, bullshit your way through life and juggle people and things like that. Your guides are asking you to choose a path now. That's what it says. Choose a path now and make a decision. Are you going to continue to juggle people or are you going to build a stable foundation with the person that you may want something with? Yeah, you're going to have to let go of the past. You're going to have to let go of those past behaviors. You have haters around you. This is the, um, my devils around haters, backstabbers, and snakes. You have haters around you and stuff. And that could be why they were causing conflict and competition with, um, you know, your new person. Because they may just not want you to be happy. Yeah, this situation is meant to end this conflict. You do need to make a move. All right. So Taurus, what you need to do is make a move. 
you are being this is divine action within you like this spiritual warfare is meant to push you forward because you are enough to have everything that you desire you are you know all you need to do is plan and focus and the reason why you couldn't plan and focus before is because you need to avoid conflict here it is you need to avoid this you need to dead this you know conflict and focus on yourself focus on your own passions and desires instead of everyone else yeah you're reaching your success you will soon so um yeah taurus it looks like Things could be moving forward for you. Let's see how your person feels about you, though. How does your person feel about you, Taurus, at this time? The person that you're thinking about. Ooh. How does your person feel about you, Taurus? How does your person feel about you, Taurus? All right. Your person feels like you have a lot of options and you're possibly confused. But your person does see you as wish fulfillment. Okay, so they do love you. They just don't love all the options. Your person is trying to have strength in this situation. May definitely be dealing with a Leo, Aquarius, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. Your person definitely wants, is praying for this to work out. Wants, may feel like, may know that you are their divine partner or a deep uh, spiritual connection. They may also see you as a star. Okay, they see you as prayers answered. They see you as strong. They love you, but they also see you as somebody that can be uh, delusional and not know, not able to make choices, not able to decide what's best for you, um, you know, or not. You're always in this. Uh, it's an illusion. I don't know what to choose type mode, you know, so your person may want things balanced and want you to be more stable. All right. Or you may de be dealing with a Libra. So let's see what actions your person is going to take towards you. A stable foundation your person is going to hold on to the situation with you i feel like or you're going to hold on to your person maybe dealing with the queen of cups uh cancer pisces scorpio or you could be dealing with um someone who's a mother could be someone who's a mother but it doesn't have to be i feel like you're going to hold on to this person and this person is going to hold on to you um and you guys you may not be single for long but the thing is this person may also be emotionally unstable at this time because they feel like you have a lot of options you have a lot of people looking at you right now um so yeah make plans focus if this is what you want if this is what you desire you're definitely gonna have to um first of all know that you're enough and know that you can have everything and anything that you want but um, you're going to have to make plans and focus on exactly what it is that you desire. And you have to pick what it is that you desire and focus on that and make plans towards that. Okay? Or that person. All right. Later, Torians. Goodbye.